morning and welcome back to the show. We'll uh, quickly go through and have a look at today's games later in the day and we have some interesting games. Uh, first up, Inverley hosting Thompson at, at Inverley. And I think after their big loss to Belpost Hill last week, Inverley will be looking to make amends later today. Christy? Yeah, I'll be going for Inverley in this game. As I said, and I will keep saying, I was really impressed with the two young girls that played for the Interleague in Nicole and Erin, whose Erin plays in defence. But goodness, Nicole in that centre court is going to be a player to watch. So hopefully she will stand up on the weekend and they'll come away, or today, come away with a nice win. Yeah, and Nicole White and Erin uh, Dillon for mm. Inverley there. A couple of young girls, they're first year out of um, under-17s. Mm. Um, so, and they're yeah, definitely um, holding up the, the side there in the centre court and in defence mm. as well. And both still um, were 17, I actually think. I think that, I mean, I think they're turning 18 this year, but it, it's still young and for them mm. to be playing A grade, so. Yeah. Team, team of the future, maybe. But like I said uh, also last week, um, we played Thompson, mm -hmm. and Thompson were a bit of a surprise. They didn't right. just lie down, and you know, we really did have to fight hard. So hopefully, we have got that in the back of their minds today that it's not going to be maybe an easy match. Had it, had they played at the start of the season, it might have been an easy match, but it's not going to be today. Mm, exactly right. Uh, next game, and one of the two Ooh. really interesting games coming up Corio v East Geelong at a Corio. And, wow, tough yeah. game. How do you go? How have you, how have you prepared for this week's game, you know, that you're knowing that you're playing Corio? Well, without letting too much out of the bag, of course, <laughs> because I'm sure there are some girls watching from Corio. Um, we're on uh, equal points with them at the moment. Yep. Both battling for that fourth and fifth position yep. uh, on the ladder. And, uh, look, Corio lost to Bellpost Hill a couple of weeks ago. Um, only by four goals, so it's yeah. nothing in it, really. Yep. Uh, and... I, we, I understand that, you know, we've got to pay some respect to Corio. Mm. Nicole Trainer uh, been playing goal shooter for the last couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. um, Danielle Davis absolutely had a blinder against Bell Post Hill and shot 30 goals. Yep. Uh, and that's just down the goaling end. Yep. Um, you've got Sonia Harris, Sarah Bromley up yeah. in defence. And I think, personally, I think if Sonia's on her game um, and uh, who's, the, who's the other defender playing back there? I, have, I don't know too much of No, look, her, there... But yeah, there Certainly, is if Sonia's on her game, um, I really think I think your goalers may struggle against her. Not not to say that they won't go well, but I just think Sonia on a good day is the toughest opponent playing the GDFL. So I think get her also on a good day. Sonia against Belpost Hill played went from uh, played in the centre. She played wing defence. She played maybe goal defence. And she did that against Werribee. And she is a is a dynamic player, and she can play many positions. But her in the defence, she. That's where she should play or needs to play. I think that's where she always stands out from mind when I've watched her play. Yeah. So I hope she plays back at defence and gives your goalers a run for their money. No. Well, I think Literally. with... with uh, <laughs> hey, thanks, Christy. <laughs> no. Uh, I, I think with Sarah Bromley and the other tall cryo defender, mm. um, uh, I think... Sonia thinks that it allows her to play in yep. the centre court where she might be able to shore, shore up the strength a little bit. And maybe, look, that's what she's doing. She might also be giving those other girls um, game time back there and getting them, giving them a, a feel of, of playing defence. Who knows? So, yeah. But anyway, I think it'll be a close game. Yeah, look, I, I, I think it will be also. Um, and, um, yeah, we'll see what happens any other day. Sure. Hopefully our girls are, are, are up to it. Yep. Uh, next game, uh, Geelong West uh, versus Bellpost Hill. Yes, and I would think a nice, easy one for Bellpost Hill this week. Yeah. Um, yeah, Bellpost Hill uh, at Geelong West. So, yeah, look, I don't know. It's a shame Fiona's not here today. We could have asked Fiona about it. And uh, so, uh, yeah, hopefully um, Bellpost Hill get up over the line over, over Geelong West. Sure, I think they will. Um, next one, we've got Anarchy hosting a Belmont Lions. Um, and uh, look, you don't know. No, well, After as you said, if, if, if the two players who have been playing and have been standouts for them play, I would probably say Anarchy. Again, I haven't seen too much of them this season, but if they're not playing by the results of last week's, it may be a close game. But let's, I'll, I'll say Anarchy for this week. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably have to also as well. Um, so look, I'm thinking Anarchy will get up over Belmont, and even though you know Belmont have been going along okay at them recently, I think Anarchy will probably have their full strength team back in this week mm -hmm. and uh, come over the top. Mm. Uh, now, Werribee Centrals versus Winchelsea, big game. It's a big game, and I, 
you know, I love making my big calls. I think we might see a grand final showdown. I know we don't know what's um, going to happen, you know, come finals time. But from where we are at the season at the moment, these are the two best teams. I believe, yep, yep. Um, and it's and it's good that we are seeing the two best teams play against each other this week. And one thing I'm really looking forward to from saying last year is um, a couple of these girls play together midweek, yep. and then they play they're playing against each other later on this afternoon. I'm looking forward to good netball when they play when when we've played them in the past. Both teams put their netball hats on and they play for their own club and they play really well. Yep. And that's and I, we see good netball when we see teams like this and hopefully um, we'll see a good match today and hopefully there won't be too much in it, but the stronger team will win again because Winchelsea have been a little bit inconsistent with, or not so much inconsistent, but have played different players each week. We don't know who, who will turn up today for them. Yeah, yeah, no, exactly right. Um, yeah, look, I think it'll be a great game. Um, and you may even find maybe uh, some players from other clubs maybe even travelling down the road and uh, watching the game. Oh. Other other play other clubs that might be in the finals race, and they might even uh, uh, a couple of players might come down and watch the game. Well, that's if, if if they're coming to watch the netball, they'll see a good standard of netball, and they'll see some good players. So it's probably not a bad idea if um, teams are going to do that. But. Um, don't be taking too many notes because guarantee you come finals time, both teams will have different setups again or they'll have different systems working and different things happening. OK. Uh, North Geelong, last game, North Geelong hosting Bannockburn. Um, I'm probably going to go maybe North after yes. their big win last week. Yeah, I'll go with North again. Again, they've got a few really good players in there and they probably haven't hit the, the marks of where they are at, really, I mm. don't think this season so far, but I think we'll go for them today, North. Yeah. All right, look, um, I think we might wrap it up uh, today. Yep. Um, maybe we'll get Fiona back on the show next week if she isn't missing in action. Um, once again, uh, thanks for coming down. Uh, no from problem. I'll Elwood. be heading back to Werribee this afternoon. You can give us a and, rundown um, of the game next sure week. Sure will next week. And hopefully I can have a chat to both coaches after the game and see, yeah. see how they've felt. That'd be it. great. All right, we'll uh, enjoy netball later on this afternoon, uh, boys and girls, and uh, we will see everyone next week, uh, early Saturday morning. Bye for now.